Hello YouTube, this is Stragoli from Knights of the Never. I'm bringing my first Black Ops commentary. And um, here I'm playing what's a uh, wager match. It's something completely new for Black Ops, and I wanted to uh, make one of these wager match commentaries because it's completely new and you and we don't know much about the game modes yet, or at least if you haven't got the game, you probably don't know much about it. And uh, I'm actually off to a very good start here, but the game lasts about six and a half minutes or something. But at some po some weapons, it's very hard to get kills very quickly. With the shotguns and assault rifles, stuff like that, you can easily get to the next level. And what I'm playing here, it's a it's the gun game. There are three rager matches, and what you do, or what you can do in them is you basically use them to get more caught points. And caught points, what you use to Buy new stuff, buy weapons, attachments, new customization for your emblem or something. And what you. These card points, you unlock them by leveling up or completing some different kind of, kinds of things. And in Wager Magic, you can gamble it to. You kind of bid on that. You bid, I believe it's 500 of these card points. You bid on that you're gonna win this match. And if you win, you actually get triple the amount that you bid. For it, and uh, the game I'm playing here is Gun Game. It's so far, it's the most fun of the game of the three kinds of wager matches. What you basically do is you spawn with a pistol. It's the Python, and what you basically need to do is get a kill with every weapon. And there's 20 weapons or 20 levels that you can go through, and you need to get a kill with every one of them. And there. I believe there is pistols, submachine guns, assault rifles, snipers, explosives like grenade launchers and um, rocket launchers, and there's the crossbow, and then there's the ballistic knife as number 12, or number, <laughs> not number 12. There's also actually light machine guns in there. Um, ballistic knife as number 20, and. These wager matches, they're very fun, they're very intense, like, when I played these uh, wager matches yesterday, I was, <laughs> I was, my heart rate was blowing up, blown out of the sky. I was very, very concentrated on twine, on twine, Ugh. <laughs> on trying to win, because I wanted to get more points, I didn't want to lose, and these wager matches, they're a lot of fun, because you well you are playing against other players and you can see in the bottom left corner in which place you are here oh yeah this guy boom <laughs> oh love that no scope but they're act they're like in Modern Warfare 2 when you were I believe that if you have played Modern Warfare 2 you've tried to get a nuke at some point and at least when I was trying to get a nuke I also got very excited and it was my heart was also pumping all over the place and I kinda get the same thing here when I'm playing these wager matches because you really really want to win if you lose something like a team death match or something you don't lose anything on you only gain stuff but if you lose one of these wager matches you actually lose money and you'll have to you will complete other matches or something to get them back and I these wait this uh, system also with the cut points, I'm really enjoying that because in Modern Warfare 2, I'll, on almost every one of my classes, I used a silencer. I was really enjoying the silencer because when you use that, they um, can see you on the uh, radar when you shoot. Like these red dots that are all over the place up there. And when uh, in Black Ops, when you buy a gun or something, you can actually get every one of the attachments that are f available for that gun. But what you do is you spend points on it, and I really like that because you can get the attachment that you want instantly. You don't have to get like 300 kills or something to get FMJ, although that's not in the Black Ops anymore. So that's actually very, very good, I believe, or think that they have put that into the game. I'm really loving it. I'm also remembering here something other about the gun game. You need to get kills with your weapon. You can't knife people in the back and then get to the next level. You have to kill them with the weapon that you're using. Like here, you have to kill them with the explosion. Before I did, I did kill someone, but 
the explosion made a car explode, which eventually made the person die. And that doesn't make me proceed to the next level. And also, when you knife someone, or if you get knifed, there's kind of a humiliation. So, if I knife someone, they go down one level, or one tier. Like, if they were at tier 20, they'll go down to tier 19, and so forth. But if they knife me too, I go down one level. So, it really makes for uh, intense gameplay, like, you need to kill them before they get close to you. And here I am at the last level. This is one of my better wager matches, but you do die a lot, because at some points, the someone has, or is going on some kind of killing spree, where they'll just be killing everyone with their new weapon. And that happens, uh, like, in the beginning of the game, that happened to me. There's about... 30 minutes seconds left so I'm gonna end it here and if you didn't watch my last comment here I've got on Twitter I'm gonna put a link in the description down below and I would like you to uh, rate comment and subscribe and I'll I'm gonna be putting more uh, first impressions on different kinds of things in uh, black ops so I'm gonna look forward to those but the game is gonna end here there's no final kill cam because I used some theater mode to record this also so I got better quality and uh, I'm just hoping that you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and goodbye.